It seems like my homepage is routinely inundated with tales of corporate data breach, ransomware attacks, and a plethora of other malicious instances. Often it can feel like our privacy has become a thing of the past. However, while there is little you can often do in the way of how third parties handle your data, there are still plenty of ways for you to protect your information and data on a more personal level. Hi, I'm Erica, and this is the first in our series of videos sharing some practices you can start right now to prevent yourself from becoming another statistic and keeping your data secure. Just a quick note, I will be focusing primarily on Apple systems with High Sierra, but many of these concepts do translate to PC systems and older Mac OSs as well. Our first step is to make some quick adjustments to your existing account. First things first, you'll want to shut off automatic login. To get that set up, go to System Preferences, Users and Groups, unlock the padlock in the lower left, provide your administrator password, choose Login Options, and from the pull-down list, select Automatic Login Off. It's a small price to pay for giving data thieves an extra hurdle for some added security. While you're in your user accounts panel, you'll want to disable any guest logins as well. A guest account can be one of the easiest ways for someone to slip on through your well-structured defenses. A quick tip with High Sierra: you can use Command Control Q to put your display to sleep immediately when you need to step away from your computer. This then would require your password when it wakes. If you're using a Mac with a touch bar, you can program the touch bar through your system preferences to go into any of the sleep modes. While you're adjusting your personal login, why not consider turning your everyday account into a standard one and setting up a separate admin account? Having a second admin account adds a layer of awareness to your day-to-day -day routine. Anytime an app or a program attempts to install to your system, you'll be alerted by that admin password request. This won't protect you from installing malware, but it can make you more conscious of what you are installing or deleting by adding this additional password requirement. First, you'll want to create the new admin account. Just head to your System Preferences, Users, unlock the padlock in the lower left, provide your administrator password, and hit the plus sign. Enter a new account name. Select Administrator from the New Account drop-down menu. Create a password. Then double-check that the Allow User to Administer This Computer box is checked off. Now that you have a separate admin account, you can convert your main account to a standard one. Log out of your main account and log in to the one you just created. Go back to the Accounts panel, click on the padlock, then go ahead and enter your password, select your main account, and uncheck the box that says Allow User to Administer This Computer. Then you'll want to restart your system for these changes to actually apply. This setup lets you use your main non-admin account for your daily and personal data use. The separate admin account is just there to give you a friendly reminder now and then to be aware of what you're adding and deleting on your system. So this was really just scratching the surface of what you can do to help make your system and your data a little more secure. That's it for this episode, but check back with us soon for our next in the series and for more tips and tricks. I'll see you next time.